Nigerian not be Zimbabwe. Hmm. Nigerians react to as Tinubu said to appoint his son as minister. Hey, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians have reacted to the call urging President Bola Tinubu to appoint his son Shei as Minister of Youth. A Twitter user, Jero, Jerry Koko, has called on President Tinubu to appoint Shei as Youth Minister, adding that he is competent to fulfill the position. According to Jerry Koko, heaven will not fall should President Tinubu appoint his son as a minister in his cabinet. President Bola Tinubu has been asked to appoint his son, Sheyi, as a minister, as the next minister of for youth. Okay, like as I said, that Jerry Koko made the appeal on his handle, Kokomatic, on Sunday, August 20. He said, heaven will not fall if President Tinubu appoints Sheyi as a minister in his government. Please kindly pick your son, Shei Tinubu, as the next minister for youth. He is capable and intelligent. Heaven will not force our thanks. Yours truly, Jerry Koko. Nigerians react to call for Tinubu to appoint his son minister. Nigerians have reacted to the call urging President Tinubu to appoint his son, Shei, as minister of youth. One Yemi of Lagos at Yemi. Ask Jerry if he is not qualified to head the youth ministry. So you are not worthy to be youth minister, only worthy to be political praise singer. Huh. Wahala, even not go for, he said, youth go get directions. Not really. I suggest he picks Shei Tunubu's son. Your slavery is, gener is, is generational. And forever. I honestly don't think it would be a wise move. The election is still being contested in court by the opposition parties. Nigerians are struggling with the high cost of living. It would be unwise to add a perception of this. The wiser decision will be for him to put Sim one forward for the role. I don't think we should encourage this in Nigeria. We have enough young men and sports, whatever, that can fit into that ministry. My thoughts, though. This is a trap. Official bad should not fall for it. It will be the very first bad on court prudences. Bad should not fall for these days. Nigeria is not a state like Oshun when there is free for all. Since Ocean Governor has gathered all his family members in his cabinet, so Tinubu should do the same. But no problems. But remember, he has only four or probably years to spend on the seat. I hope when the next president employs only his village people as ministers and co, social media won't cry. Even. I am sure he will not want to try it. Trust me, not only he is his son, his son is capable. There are millions who are capable. He should pick randomly and do background check. These are reactions so, from Nigerians and they are still talking. Because he knows Niger is not Rwanda or Zimbabwe. He won't listen to you on this. Meanwhile, Omoyele Showare, a human rights activist and president, presidential candidate under flagship of the African Action Congress, AAC, has alleged that ever since President Bola Tinubu assumed office, he has been trading without any corruption, and this may provoke Nigerians. He added that Tinubu's anti people politics to is quite provoking and it will make Nigerians feel angry. 
Shawari revealed that level of hardship and suffering going on in this country due to the fuel subsidy removal might cause civil unrest in the country. He said that the situation in the country will always prompt President Tunubu to move from one mistake to another until Nigerians join hands and arise for a re revol revolutionary Nigeria. The African Action Congress AAC presidential candidate reviewed this during a get-together in Abuja while he was addressing his members. This Tunubu government will make it easy to let revolution happen in Nigeria, and you will be surprised. It is like a blessing in disguise for re revolutionary Nigeria. He will, be he will be moving from mistakes to mistakes to the point that people will have no option than to join hands and push all of them out, he said. As someone said, don't worry. Nigerians are just waiting for the tribunal final judgment, okay, before civil action. The hardship in Nigeria is something that wait till the suffering reaches everyone, especially is Agbiru Boris or Mo Inogu Izio. Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always stopping by. Bye for now.